Can you help with Fords and Futures? I certainly can. It's on 65 as uh, well. It's actually, John, easier than options because there is no calls and puts. I buy if I think the price is going up. I sell if I think the price is going down. Uh, a great article, John, you can uh, Google it, Hershey. Hershey is afraid of the price of cocoa going up, right? So to hedge the, with their cocoa price, they're going to buy futures. In fact, Brian, they asked the CFTC to be able to violate the position limits in cocoa futures because they feel they need a bigger hedge in place. The idea, John, is that what they lose in paying more for cocoa, they're going to make up in the futures contract they have. Now, the difference, John, why would Hershey not want to use a forward? Well, can you imagine Hershey calling some cocoa farmer in Colombia and <laughs> saying, hey, I want to uh, have you deliver at a future date X, I don't know, cocoa's bushels? I think cocoa's are bushels. I don't know. Anyways, they would have contraparty risk. Forwards aren't standardized. There is no contract. It's not as liquid as the futures. So in the beauty contest between forwards and futures, futures are the winner, right? Let's say I'm... Uh, Kiko man, I make soy sauce. I'd be afraid of soybeans going up. Now, one thing I could do is go to the mine in Iowa and find a guy who grows soybeans and say, hey, for future delivery, what do I owe you? And now he has to worry about me coming up with the money. I have to worry about the quality of soybeans, how many he's got. It's just easier to use the futures to either speculate or to hedge. Uh, Brian, your thoughts? I see you got your board yeah, again. It's exactly right. And and to kind of simplify that even more, uh, Dean used an excellent example with Hershey. Hershey is a very large consumer of cocoa. Uh, I believe in my courses, I always use the uh, airlines who were very big consumers of jet fuel, gasoline, petro uh, petroleum, that kind of thing. So in order to hedge gasoline prices, they would buy gasoline futures or oil futures. So a simple way of, of trying to remember this is that the consumers of the com commodity, right? They're the ones that are afraid that the price is going up. They're the ones who buy the futures. The producers, uh, the Guatemalan cocoa producer or whomever, they're afraid the prices are going down. So they sell futures. So that's yeah, one you do. Way, producers versus consumers. You do in the futures market, what you're going to do in the cash market or spot market later on, right? So again, if I'm selling my soybeans, I'm not afraid the soybean price is going to go up by the time I harvest. I'm afraid it's going to go down. So in the spot market, I'm going to be selling soybeans, as Brian says. So I'm going to sell the futures contract. Again, the idea is I'm going to make up in the hedge some of my profit or loss in what's called the spot market. The spot market is just the current price. All right. Let's see what else we got. 